Yo, what's going on guys? Chris Barney here, Overtime Athletes. So for today's coach video, I have a special guest, Phil DeRue. Appreciate you coming through, man. Hey, and for today, we're gonna do an upper body horizontal push. It's going to be the dumbbell floor press. Now this is a drill that is definitely, or movement I should say, that is a, a variation that I use to the horizontal floor press, and I see a lot of athletes doing it wrong. I would typically cue the general population the same way that I would cue my athletes. There's not too many variables or variations that I would do for an athlete, but it's one that I want to share with you guys so that you're doing it properly, especially if you're doing it in one of my programs. So, as far as setup goes, what I typically have athletes do is just what Phil did right here. Go ahead and place the weight down outside your obviously your hip uh, width, and then you're gonna sit right down in between them. There's two ways that we do to load this movement. Obviously, if we're going absolute strength and it's extremely heavy, I'll actually, as a coach, be able to support the athlete by placing the weight or setting it on their actual leg or in that actual position. Um, but the biggest thing is we don't wanna compromise them in any way. So for the first one, just go ahead and grab it like you would a hammer curl, place it on your thigh, and then what you're gonna do is just you're gonna flex your hip, lift it up towards as you lean back. So just go ahead and do one, just like that. And as you can see, he punched his knee through and it's easy for him to go ahead and stabilize and set up into that position. Now, as I said, if it's too heavy and I need to go ahead and load him, what I'll do as a coach is I'll grab the dumbbell here, I'll have his elbow already down, and I'll place it right there so as he's punching through the ceiling. Now, from this position, I set, essentially want from the lower body down, I want their legs straight out. Why? Because when I have them dig their heels into the ground and bend their knees, what happens is a lot of them like to pop the hip up to get it on that concentric portion of the motion, and that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for that static strength right from that dead, deadlocked position. From here, from the upper body, I want him to draw his shoulder blades back just like he would with a bench press, really relax that neck. One thing I see when it comes to floor press is guys going to get a little bit up top. You want to be able to pull those shoulder blades down and drive from that 45 degree angle. With the arms, what I want to see is a 45 degree angle at the armpit. So you're not wide here and you're not flaring. And you're also anywhere from 45 to pretty close, but I like to go about 45 when it comes to this movement. Now from here, as far as the wrist goes, the biggest thing I wanna teach my guys is I wanna kinda of punch through the ceiling. You wanna raise and roll your knuckles all the way up, right, and make them extremely vertical, but you wanna be able to have that base of support all the way through the forearms. The next thing I tell my guys is there's only one joint. When you come down to the ground, that elbow supporting, there's only one joint across that, that, across that base of support or against that load, and that's the wrist. So when you're succumbing down eccentrically, you wanna really focus on kissing the elbow to the ground, almost coming down very slowly, and then a fast concentric portion as fast as you possibly can. So Phil, you got great form, so go ahead and give me one or two reps and I'll explain the motion as we're going. Good, so as you can see, the dumbbells are meeting themselves at the top. He's coming down under control, really gently, and then exploding up. I might even vary. The one thing I'll do is some kind of a tempo. I might say, hey, give me a 1-1-X one, one where he's coming down under control, kissing the ground, pausing for one second, and then exploding up as hard as he possibly can. From that motion, yeah, go ahead and give me a couple more. As you can see, punch the knee, push through, punch the ceiling, nice and easy. Bang, just like that. Shoulder blades are back. He's not contracting the traps. And see just how the wrist is set up. The load is going through, pressing through the ceiling. Elbows are at 45 degrees. Nice and easy. He's kissing the ground with his elbow. He's protecting his wrist. And he's exploding with a fast concentric motion. Boom, that's it. There you have it, dumbbell floor press. One of my favorite variations as far as a horizontal push, especially working that static portion of the lockout. Try it out. Watch you guys next time.